you know, that he would hire these, like, sex workers and, like, they would have, you know, sex with her or whatever, and he would watch and tell them what to do. She told me the only time he was willing to do anything or work on her music, go through any um, plans, any of that, was when she had a freak off. So all of our music, all my work, to find out that, like, I spent all these years writing these songs for him to, to write my friend to, like, is just disgusting. I remember one time her telling me that, I think it might have been the perfect match, that, that movie that she was in, and she told me that she had a black eye under her makeup. Do you believe Diddy is a dangerous person? Yes. I do. Why? I mean, look at his rap sh After being mentioned in the sexual assault lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs, Cuba Gooding Jr. is now coming forward with everything he has against the rapper. With people like Gene Deal, Jaguar Wright, Cat Williams, and Lil Rod, accusing Sean Diddy Combs of secretly funding prostitution and other malicious activities within the entertainment industry, Cuba Gooding is also joining in, giving his two cents about the time he has spent gathering evidence, exposing his dark side to the world. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those moments in my life where I was trying to numb the pain. So I would, you know, just kind of go out and not worry about a thing, you know, and, uh, and it, uh, it, it opened me up to a lot of um, interactions with people in uh, clubs and bars and whatnot. And I, you know, it's, the world knows, I pled guilty uh, for uh, the count of, for uh, forcible touching, uh, ki kissed a waitress. So that's that, I'm not here to shame anybody or to, to you know, uh, take any of these women who, you know, made their uh, statements. But it is one of those moments where I look back and I say, how did you find yourself in this scenario, in this situation? And then the police show, she makes a statement to them, they review the tapes. The tapes, uh, uh, they review every moment that they can for the time I was there. They don't see any of the claims that she made. Um, and then the special victims unit um, personnel from the DA's office shows and they explain to this person what they saw on the tapes. And the person obviously um, went ahead with uh, putting out an, a warrant for my arrest. Of course, it's not the first time Diddy has been mentioned in the same sentence as sexual assault and abuse. Yet, the revelations that Gooding is now presenting are simply too shocking to resist. Here's everything you need to know. Among other misfortunes that are not taking the lead in P. Diddy's life, the rapper has currently been accused by a former male employer of harassment and forceful grooming. And, well, Cuba is right there with him in some of them. Did you see the picture? Nah, I didn't get to see it, but, uh... Oh, my God. Cuba, yo, listen to me, man. I don't know if it was what they call it when you take two pictures and they put it together and stuff like that. They, they, what they, what they call it when the, they put the pictures together, and it don't belong together, but they put it together, whatever. Side by side. Yeah, whatever they call that. Sh Cuban, Cuban, uh, 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 Cuban Gooden Jr. was so close to that man, I would thought that was his lady. That's how close he was to him, and then his hands all on his leg and everything. It, it was, it, it was crazy, bro. I, I, I don't even believe that. So when you see Cuban Gooden fighting a case here in New York, when he said the girl was saying that he was groping her and everything like that, I'm glad they didn't show that picture at his trial. <laughs> Cause he would have been guilty. That's how close he was to that kid, man. So you seeing no pictures, do you believe his claims? Yeah, I believe his claims. If somebody put something in Cuban Gooden Jr. ear, that this was fresh meat, or see, can you break him, or see, can you do something? Because don't no other man be that close to no another man, man, for the for that reason. Come on, bro. That's crazy. Hey, do you know him? Have you ever met him before? No, I don't think I met him before. I can't, I can't recall meeting him. Claims have emerged linking well-known figures, such as Cuba Gooding Jr., to the recent lawsuit, and things are not looking good. 
There are rumors that Gooding Jr. is in the compromising photos being discussed, but there are no videos to support these allegations for now. This, of course, heightens the drama in the wake of Diddy's recent legal troubles. But this time, it's not only Diddy who is being investigated, a number of well-known figures are also involved in this issue, including Chris Brown, Meek Mill, Young Miami, Stevie J, Usher, and Diddy's son, Justin Combs. And although none of these people have said anything since the lawsuit surfaced, there are indications that Cuba Gooding Jr. is especially furious about the issue. Obviously, it makes sense, given that he has been juggling his own legal issues and that he now risks more harm to his reputation. So, with everything considered, there are rumors that Gooding Jr. is threatening to fire Diddy, saying the rapper unfairly exposed him and may have serious consequences for all parties. Meanwhile, legal records that TMZ was able to get support Rodney Jones's claims that Diddy tried to pass himself off as someone else by engaging in dishonest tactics. Surprisingly, Jones says Diddy took him out on his luxurious yacht to Cuba, where things rapidly got awkward. According to reports, Cuba approached Jones in an unwanted manner and went beyond limits, forcing Jones to shoo him away with physical force. Jones even offered what appeared to be proof, a picture of Cuba kissing him. According to the lawsuit, Diddy could have controlled Cuba's behavior, but chose not to step in to stop the harassment. Cuba has previously been the target of similar allegations. In 2019, a number of women came up with alarming details regarding his actions. Although it's hard to say for sure if Cuba is directly involved in this or not, Diddy is undoubtedly connected in it fairly deeply in whatever venture he is currently engaged in. See, more people are coming forward to share their personal stories of their interactions with Diddy and how it has impacted their lives. For starters, Williams said that the incident in which Dave Chappelle walked away from $50 million was not even close to what happened when questioned about it in a recent interview. He did, however, imply that throughout his own career, he had to decline offers of $50 million four times. Dean Deal is a witness to all that. That girl went through some tumultual sh that she never thought that she would ever have to go through being in the music business. Do you understand that? I've, I've been next to people who are top in the game, in the music business. And they had said to me, yo, I had to a lot of to get to this position. You understand? They have said that. So I can imagine what that little girl went through with old boy. She ain't lying that thing, because if she would have lied, he would have fought her tooth and nail. He would have fought her tooth and nail, bruh. Don't get it messed up, uh. He would have fought her tooth and nail. That little girl ain't lied nothing that, she ain't lied about none of that. Do you know what she's going through? She you know what she's gonna go through for the rest of her life? Her kids gonna go back and see this on the internet? Going forward, Williams also thinks that it's possible that Diddy and Harvey Weinstein are sponsoring these abuse practices in the industry together because they are in the same social circle. Williams also disclosed an incident that happened in front of his employees at his agency. Currently, the situation exposed Harvey Weinstein's reluctance to make concessions to succeed while also involving Weinstein's attempt at an inappropriate sexual approach. Williams argues in his defense that he has been pressured for years to keep quiet about it, which has led to the propagation of false information to emphasize his commitment to morality by asserting that his integrity has prevented him from compromising his principles or taking any shortcuts during his career, and that this is one of the reasons he has never won a significant award. I can't win over there because I don't play. I don't mm. participate. Like, you can't buy me, not because I'm not for sale. You can't buy me because I'm not in the store. Um, it just meant something to me because on our side of the war, coming in, we have to agree that we're not going to win any awards and we're not going to be nobody's favorite and we're going to miss out on a lot of the things that they're going to get over there. 
because we're not like them and we don't do what they do. We're not willing to do the things they're willing to do. Therefore, we won't get what they get. Williams then continued to shed light on the repercussions he suffered for speaking out against incidents of this kind when he disclosed how the studios shunned him for raising his voice over something so terrible while maintaining his dignity. But hey, I knew that that's the end goal. So if that's the end goal and I'm there when I start, why would I deviate from that? Right. Remember, I, 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 my goal was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole <laughs> and I never have some That was my only goal. He obviously knew what his route needed to be and followed it. The comedian alleges that he never once accepted any of the quick cuts that wealthy Hollywood people like Weinstein or Diddy offered him. And for good reason, he has earned the respect and dignity of a room full of people when he walks in. Williams also said that he will not submit to being monetarily blackmailed or silenced by Diddy and associates to refrain from speaking out about sensitive topics, even if he is exposed by the Illuminati, gets bad press, or Cuba continues to withhold a great deal of what he has to say and reveal about Diddy. For the time being, though, let's simply praise him for having the guts to support Cat Williams and many others against Diddy and choose a stance. That's all for today. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.